this is Courtney and Ryan here with your weekly Money Minutes. Yo, yo. <laughs> and this week we want to talk to all of you out there who might have some cash on the side right now that you're thinking, hmm, is this the time I should get this invested? And it's really all going to come down to what's your time horizon? What do we need that cash to do for you? Yeah, exactly. And I think the, the, the baseline is always keep six months worth of expenses in your bank account. After that, you mm-hmm. got to start thinking about what we're going to do with your money because let's mm-hmm. face it, Court cash is trash exactly it nothing literally. i'm with you yeah you <laughs> yeah, feel me that emergency fund is crucial but what about if it's something maybe less than five years out maybe i know i'm gonna need some money in a year or two right well my birthday's in a year and i know you probably want to get me something really nice of course so that kind of money you don't want to put at risk or it right. could be a house not my birthday <laughs> um but yeah so that then you can look at things like like short-term cds yes there's some high interest money market funds but then when you start getting out like three years plus out you want to start to think about investing it more seriously. Exactly. Yeah. So the longer time horizon, the more risk that you're able to take in your accounts. The shorter time horizon doesn't mean it has to be sitting in cash, but there are other ways to do that. So you can definitely talk to us about that. We're more than happy to find a strategy for you and what makes sense for any cash you have on hand right now. Yeah. So if you want to find out more about how to manage your cash, feel free to click on the link below. You can talk to a real Pain <laughs> Capital Financial Advisor. And if you want to get our weekly, timely, amazing content (laughs) self-proclaimed you can click on the link below moneyminutes.com and subscribe and that's this week's money minutes as always be Be bullish. bullish